welcome guys and good morning thank you very much for joining me today uh we have the gilded tarot uh but how i wanted to start this read i didn't want to use an oracle deck today i wanted to pull a rune stone to sort of set the tone uh for what we're going to be talking about so i'm just going to grab this guy off the top here okay so this rune stone actually represents family uh, i can represent uh family inheritance uh assets I feel like family though. That was the first one that popped into my mind. I can speak to tradition too. So uh, we might be talking about something to do with family, maybe disapproving of what somebody's doing. We're going to grab the Gilded Tarot here to, to clarify what this rune stone is talking about today. We had a bunch of cards that wanted to pop out. So let's see what we have. So we do have the Chariot card. This chariot card is is usually representative of perseverance, positive movement forward. It's like, if this is traveling, traveling, conflict. So everybody's fighting. We got like some sort of a fight going on. Wonder if this is like different sides of the family, maybe judging somebody's choices. Ah, uh, that Queen of Swords. I, you know, she has a lot of positive attributes that go along with her most of the time. In this read, I feel like she's, she's like emotionally cold and she wants to tell everybody what to do. Uh, like this is the person who's sort of trying to like, trying to tell somebody how to live their life and what they should be doing. And somebody just wants to do what's right for them. This is what this Knight of Cups is. It's like this emotional victory. This is like somebody wants to do uh, what they find fulfilling. It's like they want to live their life uh, for themselves and with their own choices. This is like a battle of wills too that's going on here, guys. I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's trying to uh, maybe even intervene and maybe trying to uh, sort of play mediator like a family member who's stuck in between who's trying to like see both sides and bring people together. Mm. But somebody's trying to follow their passion. Somebody's trying to do what they feel is right. They're trying to live their lives for themselves. But this Queen of Swords is not freaking having it. And she's not being quiet about her opinion either. She does not want this person to choose whatever path uh, that they're trying to choose. I'd like to know more about this path too and what's going on. Uh, we do have the Judgment card here. So this is Karma. This is getting back what you put out into the world too. Uh, this is like... But I do see, and that, she is karma, she's a good card. I see a lot of uh, positivity coming off of her for the person who is sort of choosing their own path that might be going against the grain, going against tradition, uh, because it's something that makes them happy. It's something that uh, helps them to find fulfillment. Uh, there's a little piece of her, though, that is tied to this Queen of Swords just for the fact that this person is extremely judgmental. Yeah, they are just trying to tell, they're trying to tell the second energy how to live their life. And it's like they want everybody to live by their terms. They want everybody to live uh, by their morals, by their values. Uh, and it's selfish. It's extremely selfish. Let's see. So let's say the pentacles. This is like learning too. This is part of this person's journey, the second energy who's trying to move away from this queen of swords, trying to eke out a life for themselves, trying to follow a passion. It's like something they're trying to learn. It's some sort of, um, I don't want to call it a hobby. This is like a trade or something they're trying to pursue or an education that, that goes towards this passion, something that they're trying to follow uh, themselves. But she thinks it's, she thinks it's ridiculous. Whatever it is, uh, this, this queen of swords is not freaking having it. And it's like this this balance. This person's trying to do this balancing act. It's like they want to live their lives for themselves. They want to be happy. Uh, but at the same time, they don't want discord in the family. It's like they don't want... They're afraid of this queen being ashamed of them. And maybe even completely cutting them off and not talking to them. I don't know if she's, if she's saying that. I feel like the energy that comes from her is like somebody who would do that. Or who would threaten that to try and get their way. And it's like... 
this person is like feeling like they're having to cut ties and move away and I feel like physical distance like trying to put physical distance in between them and this queen of swords so that they can build this new life this is something that this is something that they're thinking about is going to get this education whatever this education is this passion that drives them for this this new pursuit see and whatever it is they're after like, it's something that they're going to find success in. Uh, but all this shit that's going on within the family, within this tradition, whatever this is, that this Queen of Swords represents who's trying to fucking run everyone's life, uh, there is a potential for that to hold this person back. Just because they have that emotional attachment, because they're worried about disappointing those, those fears, those doubts, those insecurities that the Hanging Man always talks about. As Queen of Wands, she's speaking to the second energy because uh, uh, those wands, wands tends to speak to, fa to passion. So this is representative of the second energy to hear the individual who's having trouble uh, with the Queen of Wands energy. This is someone who wants to pursue their passion. I wonder if this is like a childhood passion. This is like something they always wanted to do with their life. Uh, they're maybe starting to muster up the courage to be able to follow what this is. Uh, this is something deep within them uh, that they valued for a very long time. And I don't know if they've sort of kept it a secret too. Because this queen, this, this one, whoever this queen represents, this queen of swords, that energy, this person is extremely judgmental. And I feel like it might even be a parental figure. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's like... This person was afraid to talk about their passion. They were afraid to talk about oh, what they wanted because they didn't want to get judged. They knew exactly how this other party, uh, this swords party was going to react to it all. Holy cow, man. I want to know more about this. Tell me more, Tarot. Tell me more about the situation, uh, what this Queen of Wands energy is moving towards. We had one go sideways up. So this Three of Cups kind of came out of the deck sideways. So it represents uh, not just happiness celebration. This is like camaraderie, uh, celebrating with the family. Like this person wants, this person wants this other energy, this judgmental energy to truly be happy for them and to truly celebrate their wins, to celebrate their passions with them. They feel like this is actually missing They really desire this. They desire this person's approval. And that's why we have the Hanging Man. Uh, that there is actually a chance that that could hold this person back from uh, pursuing this passion to the fullest, to reaching their full potential in that situation. It's like this emotional detachment. See, and that's what those Swords Court cards can bring forward a lot of times. They can be very cold emotionally. Uh, and I feel like this is how this person always was. They were always very cold emotionally. They were always very judgmental they always wanted to control how everybody lived their lives uh, to sort of fit within their own little picture their own little bubble I don't know if this is cultural if this is religious what the fuck this is but this person has uh, a very strict idea of how everyone should live their lives and it's like they try and plan it out for people and tell them what to do and this this wand's energy has finally decided to pursue a passion but they're definitely terrified it comes with ramifications because they knew this other person was going to take it poorly. And I feel like there's other family members too. I feel like everybody's starting to like a, like a choose sides kind of thing now. It's like, and I don't know that they're, that they're openly backing this one's energy privately. They might be backing this one's energy, but I feel like everybody's afraid of this sword's energy. This is like, this is like somebody in the family, I don't know, like a matriarch, a patriarch. This is somebody who sort of sits at the top and has sort of been controlling things in this way for years. And with many different people, not just the wands energy, but others as well. So I feel like people are afraid to go against whoever this is. And it has caused a bit of a division in the family. So that Ace of Swords. This is like being true to yourself. This is like following following your inner truth to find victory and wish fulfillment it's like the cards are encouraging this wands energy to keep pursuing whatever this is at the end of the day this this wands energy this person they're the ones who have to live in their own skin they're the ones who have to live their life not not the swords energy so if they live their life for this swords energy and what the swords energy wants eventually this person's going to fucking kick off and this person's going to look at their life and go, 
Well, now what? Now I've, I'm pissed away all these fucking years where I could have been doing what I wanted to do just out of fear to please somebody who's now gone and now I have nothing. And now if I want to do it, I got to start from the fucking bottom up or depending on where you want in life, where you're at. And, you know, if you have debts or whatever the fuck, maybe whatever this was that they're trying to pursue just isn't an option anymore. So it's like, this is your chance. This is your chance to make your dreams come true. Are you going to fuck yourself out of it? Are you going to hold yourself back because somebody is being judgmental because somebody is trying to force you in a different direction? Or are you going to find your most successful self? Are you going to pursue the success that you desire? Not 10 of pentacles. Like that can represent legacy too, right? That legacy. I wonder if something this person said too, I didn't include sort of cutting somebody out of an inheritance, like completely cutting them out of the family. Uh, cutting off contact cutting off uh maybe like like i said inheriting something at the end of things it's a destructive force it's a destructive force this person is being a destructive force the swords energy uh has the potential to completely derail the wand's energy uh but it at the end of the day it's up to the wand's energy how how this goes you know they can they can accept the fact that there might be there might be some discord in the family Things might be separated and, and still live their life for themselves, find healing, build their own legacy, focus on making their own legacy and finding their own level of success, not allowing the rest of this shit to hold them back. Or like that devil card here, that devil card's a warning. All of this shit, this fear, this fear, this holding back, this giving in to somebody else's crap has the potential to be a destructive force in this wand's life. So it is up to this wand's energy how they want to move forward. Uh, are they gonna are they gonna pursue this and sort of throw caution to the wind and whatever happens with family happens, whatever the consequences are, or are they gonna live sort of in fear of those consequences and consequences and shortchange themselves on their own future, their own happiness, their own wish fulfillment and their own legacy. That is a heavy ass read guys uh thank you guys very much for tuning in i hope you have a great rest of your day take care everyone